Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to show you more about Agile development and service now in Jira integration, but specifically what happens when you want to go beyond just integrating stories and tasks. Um, what if there's something like an incident or some other record in ServiceNow that you want to integrate? The nice thing is if you follow my recommendation and do the Agile or Atlassian Agile ServiceNow integration that ServiceNow supports, it's all built into the application. And let me show you what I mean. I'm back here on my backlog in ServiceNow on the left-hand side here, Jira team, and I have nothing in the backlog, right? So in the previous video, I went in and created a story Put in some details and that's all fine and good but maybe you don't want to create a story maybe you just want to get an incident passed along to a development team that's working over in jira so what i want to call your attention to now is something that ServiceNow calls the triage board and this is part of their unified backlog what this means is that i can go to out to a triage board for in this case incidents and I can go look at a list of incidents and add those to my backlog. So what ServiceNow is going to do is pull up this pre-filtered list. I set this up ahead of time. Don't worry, we're going to set one up together for something else besides incident because I know other people or other applications that are being used still may want to pass along stuff to Jira. There's my list of incidents. I'll just make this real quick. We'll check a couple of these and notice I've got this box at the top to add to backlog. So that's all I have to do is check those, add them to the backlog, and they're now gonna be inside the backlog for me to do something with. And let's take a look at them. They say incident, I've got my little Pac-Man ghost there um, showing that these are um, incidents in my backlog, but if I open one up, notice that I've got the incident information on the left-hand side, and I've got the story information on the right-hand side. These are basically functioning like tabs within this particular window. So I've got my story information, I've got my incident information. So that's how you can take something like an incident and get it over to Jira. Well, let's take a look at Jira over here. I haven't done anything. I'm just going to toggle the filters here so we can see did those come through or not. And sure enough, there they are. Let's close this window behind me here and go back to Jira. I've got scan thread has been detected. There it is. Executive web conferencing is out of date. And there it is. And if my developers go in here and do something, maybe they add a description. Um, I see what the issue, what the issue is. Uh, adding to sprint, you know, number 1532 or 25 or something like that, right? So it is put something in there that maybe your service desk or somebody wants to understand. So I saved that, scan thread has been detected. Let's pull it up here on the service now side and see if we see that description for the story. Now notice they haven't touched anything or messed up any of the details around the incident itself, but for the story information that's being synced to Jira, look at that. It came through. There's the description that they added over in Jira. Now everybody has visibility into it. So that's how you would get something like an incident over there. But how did I do that before this demo? How did I get that list of incidents to show up here for me to select and put in the backlog and automatically sync them over to Jira? Well, what you do is you create a triage definition. So I'm going to use this new triage definition button right here. And I'm going to do this to create a backlog or create a triage board of something besides incidents, something besides stories. So let's think customer service. In customer service, we have cases. And I'll just put customer service. Actually, let's just do the whole thing. We'll do customer service cases. Customer service cases. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Um, my head's not in the way there. So if I just search for a case, there's my ser customer service case. And now I can add some filters, making sure it's true, making sure there's not already a story associated with that customer service case. Hit submit, and now I have a triage board of all of those of all those cases. So let me, this is one little bug that kind of drives me nuts. I got to go back to my agile board because I kind of got lost there. There's my incidents that I pulled out before. Now if I go to my triage board, I see there's 3,589 customer service cases. Then just like it pulled up the incident, to pull up the list of cases, I could scroll through there, I could filter, or slice and dice, whatever I wanted to do to search for those, and then just check the box. And then like we did before with the incident, I'm going to add it to my backlog up here. So click add to backlog. 
There we go, just making sure my head's not in the way over there. And now that is in my backlog. I can go back to my backlog and I see I've got my two incidents and I have a customer service case for enrollment issues with MFA. I can see all the case information, just like I would have been able to see all the incident information on the left-hand side or the left tab, if you will. And once that comes up, we'll be able to click on story information and see the story information. So there's my case click on story and there's my story and this should have gotten synchronized over to Jira so let's head over there let's close out that scan thread has been detected and I'll just clear my filters there there's my enrollment issues with MFA case I can see everything about that just like before I can add some notes in there got it working this issue right now exclamation point hit save and we should actually see that automatically update just behind me there for the description. There it is, came through, I didn't do anything, got it working this issue right now. So that's the beauty of the synchronization between ServiceNow and Jira. And if you use that plugin like I'm encouraging you to do and let it synchronize on Agile development to Jira, this is how you can get non Agile stuff like cases, like incidents, think of anything else, HR cases, anything else that might come in that you want to send over to the development team. It's that easy to get them in the backlog and get them over to Jira. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating ServiceNow and Jira. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.